if Sunday's 24-17 loss to the Oakland Raiders will indeed mark the end of Ben McAdoo's 29-game head coaching tenure with the New York Giants, these should be the lasting images of what may be his final game. Eli Manning standing to his left on the sideline they shared, the sideline Mikado put him on in controversial fashion this week by benching the two-time Super Bowl MVP quarterback in favor of Geno Smith, the sideline Mikado may have coached from for the last time. Manning and Mikado watched Smith get crunched by Raiders All-Pro linebacker Callow Mack on the second of two sacks, and Smith lost fumbles on both. Then there were Giants co-owners John Mara and Steve Tisch hustling away from the team's losing locker room and passed a group of reporters waiting for comment, offering nary a word of support for their embattled coach. The defining moment came just seconds later, though, when a defiant Mikado stepped into his post-game news conference and addressed rumors of his fleeting job security. I'm gonna coach this team as long as my key card works, Mikado said got a great group of players and coaches, got a great staff to work with. We're gonna show up ready to go tomorrow and get this thing cleaned up and move on to the next one. I'm gonna coach this team until I'm told I'm not coaching this team. I'm gonna show up Monday morning ready to go to work. A day after the unceremonious benching of Eli Manning earlier this week, Mara was asked if McAdoo's job was secure for the remainder of the season. There's no guarantees in life, Mara said, acknowledging that circumstances may have changed in the month since Giants ownership released a statement saying he and Tish would not offer a running commentary on the fate of Mikado, general manager Jerry Reese or anyone else in the organization. Well, apparently the Giants are reconsidering. An ESPN report Sunday morning indicated the Giants could fire head coach Ben Mikado in 24 hours after their game here at Oakland Alameda County Coliseum against the Raiders. That would make some sense, given the belief within the organization over the past few days that there was tremendous debate over how Mikado handled the situation with Manning. But in hedging its report, ESPN is following the play made by Pro Football Talk three games ago when McAdoo's job security was considered tenuous if the Giants lost to the then-winless San Francisco 4-9 ERS on November 12 which they did, 31-21. Mikado did not lose his job, however, at least not then. It's certainly plausible that, 21 days later, what has been viewed as likely will become reality. The question remains, though, if this is where the Giants were headed, why did they allow Mikado to treat Manning this way, only to have Mara and Tish make a change at head coach the day after his streak of 210 consecutive games ended? Before the game, Mara and Tish declined to comment when approached, and a team spokesperson said a statement confirming or denying the ESPN report would not be released at this time. All of that provided a surreal backdrop to the Giants' first game without Manning as their starting quarterback since November 14. 2004. Here's the thing, the Giants needed to find a way to go from Manning to whoever their next franchise quarterback will be. There's at least a chance it could be rookie Davis Webb, who was inactive Sunday for the 12th time this season, but it's extremely unlikely Smith will be that guy, regardless of how much Mikado and Team Brass may want to keep that door open. The fans know it, too. No one can sell Smith as the future of this team. If anything, these next five games offer him the opportunity to audition for another job somewhere else. Smith was not terrible Sunday, completing 21 of 34 passes for 212 yards, along with a touchdown and those two fumbles lost on sacks. But the question is, for Mikado, considering the fallout from what he continues to insist was ultimately his decision, was it worth it? The Giants blew it with how they went about this and Mara seemed to admit as much when he came downstairs to the media workroom for an impromptu news conference Wednesday. Had Mikado been more personable with Manning instead of coming at him with his start to keep the streak alive, sit the second half approach, maybe the Giants' former starting quarterback would have agreed to the plan. As Mara indicated, compassion certainly isn't McAdoo's greatest quality as head coach, even though one of his go-to buzzwords when appealing to his players is empathy. I don't think that's necessarily his strength, but I suppose he could have shown more compassion to Manning, 
Mara said Wednesday. Again, at the end of the day, does it really make any difference? The fact of the matter is it's a major decision for this franchise, and with a beloved figure, people are not going to like it. In terms of the future, Mara offered no guarantees for anyone. For the sake of the entire organization and a fan base scorned by the way Team Brass handled this decision, a new day can't come fast enough. Maybe Giants ownership realizes the outrage from the fans who actually show up next Sunday at MetLife Stadium for the game against the Dallas Cowboys will be ugly if nothing is done, and that will ultimately be the breaking point in a lost season. As for Manning, he was asked for his thoughts on a possible firing of Mikado. I don't want that. I don't want anybody to get fired, he said. Mikado admitted that he was told of the report about his job security before the game, but insisted what could have been a distraction for some was not for him. Maybe for weak-minded individuals it may be a distraction, he quipped. But I had a job to do. It's up to Giants ownership now to decide if Mikado keeps that job much longer.